This is probably the only place I've seen the keyword check where it doesn't appear anywhere in the documentation. <laughs> Strange check syntax. Where are the kind of places do you see the word check in Oracle DDL? Now, there's one obvious one that screams out of us, the check constraint. You know, alter table add constraint check. That's one place. The other place you, some, you might see it in views. I think you can define a view and say with check, which means when data comes in, effectively it must, if someone's using a view to insert, it must be valid such that it will still be visible in the view. It's a way of securing subsets of rows. But there is another place where you can see the word check, which I was unaware of until someone brought it to my attention and I thought I'd share it tonight. I was going to run an alter table shrink command. And when I Googled for the syntax, I found an option called check, but this is not in the docs. What does it do? Let's do a demo and see what it actually does. So I'm gonna create a table as a copy of scott.m. It's hardly profound. And as you know, with any table, you can simply do alter table T shrink space. And if you run that, the first thing that's going to happen is you'll get an error. Because what does shrink space do? Shrink space is trying to look for partially free blocks and fill them with rows from other partially free blocks, and therefore to make the table a bit more dense and free up blocks at the tail of the table, for lack of a better term, in order to lower the high watermark. It's fed to be taking rows from the end and trying to shunt them into free space in the start such that the table can be shrunk in size. But obviously to do that, you need to move the rows. If I'm grabbing a row from here and putting it somewhere else, I need to make sure the rows are allowed to move, which changes the row ID. And that's why we need to do alter table enable row movement. So I do that and now I can do alter table shrink space. So far, so good. That's just stock standard use of shrink space. Let's drop that table, create table of scott.amp. This time I'll do alter table shrink space check. And you'd think you get an error because it's not in the docs, but that is actually valid syntax. And you get row, row movement is not enabled. You get the same error message. So it doesn't seem that we've really achieved a great deal here. We've simply got the same issue. If I then do alter table enable row movement, so I can now shrink space. Let's now run that same command, alter table T shrink space check. What does it do? <laughs> You'll love this. It returns an error and the error is letting you know that yes, you are allowed to do a shrink space on this because row movement is now enabled. <laughs> it doesn't do it. It's simply making sure it's effectively checking to see if row movement is enabled. I find this profound, but yeah, so that command is in there and it simply says, yes, you've asked me to shrink space, but I won't. I'm just going to let you know that I could if I wanted to. Uh, very strange, but yes, that command is in there. I have never seen that command in the docs. I assume it was in the docs at some stage because the error message is still there, uh, but I've never, I've got copies of the docs from 9, 10, up to 19. It must have even been before that, but I'm not sure. I've never seen it, but... There you go, alter table T shrink space check simply lets you know if you can actually run a shrink space command, which is effectively saying, have you got row movement enabled? And then yes, I can go ahead and actually do it. So it seems a bit of a waste of time, but it is there. Let's go back to the slides and hopefully explain why it's probably not in the docs. Alter table shrink space check is a preliminary check facility to see if you are allowed to shrink the space. Interestingly enough, you would think that all this is doing is going off to the data dictionary and looking to see if row movement is enabled. However, the reason and I asked internally, the reason this is not in the docs and no longer in the docs and not supported for use is apparently running alter table T shrink space check can create deadlocks in your schema or in the data dictionary. No one internally was prepared to reveal the extent of what or why this is the case or how it happens. But one would imagine that it was obviously severe enough such that we simply took this command out of the documentation and de-supported it. So I would urge you not to run it, but yeah, it's still there. But somehow uh, it's obviously not just doing a query to the data dictionary to see if row movements enabled. It was probably doing some other various things in terms of locking the table, et cetera. And as a result, uh, yeah, it's a no-no. So don't use alter table shrink space check. 
uh, it's a command that is undocumented for very good reason and for your own safety.